Hey guys, I am back. I am back. I am back. I was gone for a few weeks, but now I'm back. And the reason I was gone was because, well, it's slow this time of year. I mean, it's late spring. It's going to be summer soon. There's not a lot going on until training camp starts. There's OTAs, yes, but there's not a lot going on after the draft. But today what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about training camp. So this is my training camp preview. I'm going to start off with the AFC East. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the top position battles for each team and then their biggest storyline. And I want to know your opinion too. If you think that there's another position battle that's bigger than the one I have, let me know in the comments. All right, I'd like to hear your opinion about that. Oh, and guys, also, I finally got an ending software, so now videos are going to look a lot better because I'm not doing them all in one take. I can break it up into segments and then put them all together. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. So let's start off with the Buffalo Bills. Um, for me, their biggest position battle is at wide receiver because well, we know Watkins is the number one, but I don't know who the number two, number three, or the number four is. You know, this is a pretty much wide open competition for all of these spots. You know, I don't know really who's going to survive training camp. I mean, we have Watkins, and then you have Brandon Tate, Walter Powell, Cody Listenby, Desmond Lewis, and a few others that are battling for five other spots, five or six other spots. And then for me, their biggest storyline, it's Tyrod Taylor. And the reason it's Tyrod is because we don't know how this coaching staff feels about Tyrod. We don't know what they think that he's the future of this franchise. Next up, Miami Dolphins. And I looked it up. They do have a lot of battles for key backup roles. And they do have a few for starting roles. For me, the starting inside linebacker spot is their biggest battle, which they have Mike Hole and Raekwon McMillan. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. And the reason I have inside linebackers, their biggest battle is because inside linebacker, it is really important for a team to have a good inside linebacker or solid inside linebacker, I should say, because inside linebacker, and it's pretty much the leader of the defense. On most teams, the leader of the defense is their middle linebacker or inside linebacker. And for me, their biggest storyline is Tannehill. You know, he, you know, he had a partially torn ACL. He didn't get surgery. So how is he going to react in training camp? Okay. How is he going to be in training camp? We're going to find out. All right. Let's move on to the defending world champion, New England Patriots. And their top position battle, I think it's running back. They have Mike Gillisley, sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, James White, Rex Burkhead, and Deion Lewis. All right, with running back, they lost LeGarrett Blunt. So now they have to find somebody to take those carries. Okay, we all know how important running back is in the NFL, even though we really devalued the position. But if you don't have a good running game, you're not going to get far in this league. Okay, even though we devalue the position, a good running game will get you a long way. Will take you a long way. Huh. And their biggest storyline is are they going to repeat? It's about as simple as that. For me, whenever you have a Super Bowl champion, the next offseason, are they going to repeat? That's always the biggest storyline. Now, they do have others. For me, I'm really interested to see is this the year where Brady starts to slow down a little bit? Um, how's the wide receiver position gonna gonna do? How are they gonna handle their linebacking core? But the question, will they repeat? That's the one that's gonna be on everybody's mind. And lastly, the New York Jets. For me, this one's pretty simple. You have Bryce Petty, Christian Hackenberg, and Josh McCown battling out for that quarterback job. Okay, that's their biggest position battle. Now, who's going to win? I don't know. We're probably not going to know until week one of the season. You know, that's how close this could be. Because when McCown's 37, he's been a veteran a long time in this league, and Petty and Hackenberg are just unproven and young. They're young and unproven. All right, Hackenberg didn't even play last year. Petty's only had a few starts. So we have no idea who's going to win this quarterback job. 
And for me, their biggest storyline is their identity. Okay, Brandon Marshall, Eric Decker, Darrell Revis, and David Harris are no longer on the team. So who's going to step up and be a leader on that team? That's their biggest storyline for me. Because I don't know who's a leader on that team right now. And that's it for the AFC East. Like I said, if you think there's another battle that is more important on the team, let me know. Let me know in the comments. You know, I take criticism very well, and I want to hear your opinion. Now, that's just my opinion. I want to hear yours, too. And also, let me know if there's any specific video you want me to do, anything you want me to talk about. You know, I, I'll probably do it, because... Once the train camp preview is done, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I really don't. So if there's any videos you want to see, let me know.